Wow, this is a hell of a view. So I'm still like, is that ash or is that snow? Oh, that's what you were thinking. It could be ash. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like snow on the ground, though, doesn't it? It looks very white. It looks also very dirty. There's snow all around, though, too. Unless that's all ash. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's a volcano. Actually, that looks like it could be a volcano. No joke. That really does. Hmm. I mean, if it is wartime, it could be like villages are burning all around. Yeah. Oh, I think you can grapple onto something while you're in midair. And then no fall damages. Yeah. Okay, uh, right, we're gonna try to be stealthy. Oh god, there's a puppy right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, you're just giving them a lot of strawberry jam. Yeah. And you spilled it while handing it to them. Mm hmm. Dogs really love strawberry jam. I guess anyone was confused. I just realized how different these wolves are from other dog like creatures in Dark Souls. Usually, the dog creatures are actually really hard, mostly because they're super good at dodging and super fast. But these are actually really weak. Yeah, and they're all covered by fur. They're not like undead wolves. Yeah, they're normal wolves, I think. The shard. There's so many different ways I can go. Usually in Dark Souls, it's so simple, you know? I'm gonna rest here. It's probably gonna respawn the enemies, but I need my stuff back. What's that, like, time-looking thing just above my vitality? I think it's, like, how many enemies you need to kill before you can get another resurrect. Mmm. Oh, yes, you're right. So, I, you always get one back, I guess. You can always get yourself up to one by resting, but then you can get extra ones by killing enemies. I see. So are the dogs back? Ah, yeah, they are. Well, that one really flew. <laughs> Oh, that little red symbol th thing, that must be... Yeah, that's me building up to the next resurrection. <laughs> Fuck that cart. Mm, I love the way the tree branch groans as you get onto it. It's scary. It is. It's a very thick tree, though. Never know about the roots, though. Shuriken wheel. A mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen can be fit in the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it is palm-sized, a surprising number of shuriken could fit into the shuriken wheel, as the edges were designed for stacking. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical fitness, uh, finesse with a shinobi's talent. So this can probably be put on the right trigger, I'm guessing. Um, oh, fitting prosthetic tools. Uh, they can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic. Yeah, we can use a homeward idol or travel from the sculptor's idol to get there. 
Okay. Do you think I should go back and do that? Yeah. This is yours, so close to the idol. Burn. Being hit by too many fire based attacks will eventually apply the burns. Okay. Who is that? Oh, the temple. Was it filled with these, um... I associate those with, like, keeping bad spirits away. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but those weren't there before, right? No. Is that the woman who sent you the letter? Makotani. Iki o fukikai shita no desu ne. Ryuin no chikara. Kono me de shikato. ことになるとは何者だエマと言います。猿お方に使える薬師です。猿お方とすみませんが、主の命にて明かせません。ただ、あなたを助けようと。そう仰せつかっています。信用しろとは言いませんですが。私はアルジの命を果たさねばならぬのです。あなたが持っている薬の氷炭、それは元々私が作り上げたものです。クスシとして助けとなりましょう。プレゼント・ヒーリング・ゴール。この氷炭、お主が作ったというのか。はい。元
<laughs> that's cool. Regular shinobi tools found in the world can be specially adapted to the shinobi prosthetic via the fit prosthetic tools menu. I'm guessing you can only have a couple on at a time and you need to switch them out. Uh, cost spirit emblems to use the shuriken thing. What's a spirit emblem? Ooh. Pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it at a target in a single flowing motion. The swiftly thrown shuriken damages enemy vitality and posture, particularly against those with a tendency to take to the air. Hmm. Owned. What? <laughs> prosthetic tools or shinobi tools adapted for use with a shinobi prosthetic. They can be equipped in the equipment menu and using them consumes spirit emblems. Why to switch the tool? Oh yeah, so I guess you, I mean, you do need to switch them, but it sounds like you can just do it out in the field. You don't have to like come back and do it. Why do they tell me specifically not to mess with a kind-faced Buddha? Are they talking about this one? その優しい顔の仏様は、わしの掘ったもんじゃねえ。That's vague. So, well, what was that? Spirit Emblems. Spirit Emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. They can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptors' idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Oh, the emblem. That's the, like, kind of cross-ish looking thing that's in the bottom right. Um, that's still not X. The one that you gain from Resurrection? I mean, the one you use for Resurrection? Uh, no, the bottom left thing? It looks sort of oh. like a cross. It's not, though, but... Oh, 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 I see. Yeah. That. Is that the same as the little notes that are all over the temple? No, that's a different shape. Yeah. And you can purchase them. How much are they? Ten, uh, was it sen? Ten sen for each one? Yeah. I'll buy a couple, sure. Let's go back to the outskirts. Gate path. Yeah, gate path. And let's equip it. Okay, so you don't equip it from here? This is just a list of your prosthetic tools? You actually equip it here on the main menu? Oh. Okay. There we go. And then we can switch between them with Y, but we only have one. I'm kind of scared to shoot it because it's going to waste ammo, but... Oh. I guess let's test it out on a dog. I'm sorry. So that's... I mean, you can basically think of that as shooting 10 sen each shot. Which right now is actually a bit of money. And definitely not something I want to use on easy enemies. Oh, easy enemies are trying their hardest this they are. They're giving it their pop, poppy power. <laughs> oh, whoa, if I hold down the loot button, I just have a vortex inside of my chest. That is cool. <laughs> that is the hunger inside of you. A 
I'll try to be stealthy. <laughs> what the hurt fuck? You. Oh my god. That's a big chicken. That's not a normal chicken, right? I think that's a rooster. Roosters don't get that big, do they? Well, fuck, maybe they did back in the day. Oh my god. This, I don't like having so many animals to kill. Hmm. So many seemingly normal animals. That one was a little bit odd, but... Mm. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. This looks like a good way to go. Oh, that's a hard one. It's gonna take uh, two times. Two death blows to take him out. Well, might as well get one freebie. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> perilous attacks. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks to divide with a danger symbol. That's what I was getting on that boss where I lost my arm. When these occur, watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type requires a specific response. Um, okay. Left button to deflect as thrust lands. Or A before sweep lands to jump. Or dodge if it's a grab. Okay, so there's three types of those attacks, three general types. A thrust, a sweep, or a grab. I'm not going to remember that. But I'm guessing it's telling me that because this enemy is going to do something like that. Which one is it going to be? that was. Oh. Uh, that looked like a sweep. Yeah. So I think I'd have to jump for that. Oof. Fuck me. Oh, I have a resurrect left, don't I? Let's throw some stuff at him. Oh, that didn't do much. So they can be interrupted when they're doing their charge up attack. Okay, I'm not going to interrupt this one. Fuck me. Loss upon death experienced towards the next skill point and current sent in hand are halved upon death. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no known means to escape this loss. However, through the grace of the gods or Buddha, it may not be impossible. Hmm. Oh, like the ring where you wear it and you lose nothing upon death. Yeah, maybe. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon. So I had like, what, 80 cent or something? Now it's like, oh yeah, down to 30. Alright, let me get back to that boss. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wonder if they can hear, like, sounds, if that activates them or if it's just sight. Anyway, I should be able to get a freebie in here. Okay. 
Maybe I should throw shurikens at him. That seems like a waste. You think so? Yeah, you have like no money. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Oh, there we go. I did it. Yay. Should I try the old Dark Souls trick of spinning in a circle to try to get behind him? <laughs> sure. Okay. Oh, wait. I have a resurrection. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a different one. That was a grab. Finally! Ah, oh, fuck, I lost it. Oh my god. So close. I pressed the wrong button or jumped away or something. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's get our freebie in again. Oh my god, you gotta be Aww. kidding me! Uh, half of skill experience in Sen are lost upon death, but there is a way to avoid this on rare occasions. Through the unseen aid of gods and Buddha, one may be spared this loss. The chances of receiving unseen aid can be seen in the pause menu. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, that's what that means when it says unseen aid 30%. Hmm. 30% chance of it. Upon death, and I'm guessing that can be changed based on stuff you do or what have you. Yeah. Let's get our freebie in again. I need to back off, cause... 
My voice is getting really bad. Here we go, finally! Hell yeah! Prayer bead. A loose prayer bead offering four of them and a sculptor's idol will increase maximum vitality and posture. Currently, the wolf has one bead in his possession. And a gourd seed. Seed from which healing waters continuously spring forth. Give to Emma to increase the maximum uses of a healing gourd. The twisted gourd of medicinal waters was known throughout Ashina since long ago, but it was the extraordinary healer Dogen and his pupil Emma who discovered the self-replenishing nature of this seed. Damn, that was a hard fight. <laughs> if people are hearing purring, it's Gabe, our cat. She's a purr machine. Yeah. She's on the bed just being a baby. She purrs <laughs> super loud. Uh, I'm thinking enemies like that probably are the ones that don't respawn when you go to an idol. Sculptor's idol. Like, well, let's go test it out right now. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Because I want all those upgrades. Oh, actually, let me peek over here. And just see if there's like... No, there's just a bunch of enemies. Yeah, let's go back. Physical enhancement. The enhanced physical attributes option has been unlocked. You can spend four prayer beads to create a prayer necklace. Wait, oh, so I can't use one prayer bead, I need four of them to make a necklace? Yeah. I think. Yeah, I don't have four prayer beads required. Okay, so we can't do that, but we can go back and get another use of our gourd. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. どうしたやはりかすかに顔を寄せねばわからぬほどだがなんだ流院のよどみその兆しが出ておるのやも知れません流院の力は死を重ねることでよどんでいく流院の力は溜まれば必ず溢れるでしょう。溢れればどうなる。病が降りまかれるとか。気有ならば良いのですが、もし返事あれば。ああ、お主の元へ行こう。That's worrying. どのような俺は一度び死んだだが巫女様の声が聞こえ気づけば再び生きていた一度び死に今再び生きているならばそれは改正でしょう改正苦労様の龍院の巫女の力と言われています改正の力を与えられた者は死して名を蘇る幾度でもバカはい犯しなことですですが現に起きているまた変わったことがあれば知らせてください改正の力が何も見返りを求めぬとは思えぬのです狼殿よく参られましたひょうたんの種とはこれかはいそれをこちらに種をひょうたんに植え付けます<笑> 
よしこれで薬水の傘が増すでしょう Maximum healing cord use is increased. Mio na kusuri da. Mio desu ka? Hmm. Waruy ki wa shimasen. Kouken ga areba. Kimio to omou koto de mo isan desu beshi. Sore ga. Wagashi. Dougen no oshie desu no de. So ka. Hyotan no tane o mitsuketa naraba. Mata motte kite kudasai. Yakusui no kasamashi o shimashou. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So we've recorded all the episodes up to here. I don't know, this will probably be two or three episodes. I've recorded them all in one big block, and first impressions, I really, really like this game. Um, it feels familiar enough to uh, be what I'm fairly used to with the Dark Souls series, but also very different in a lot of ways that are really interesting. Uh, Omni, what are your... <laughs> what are your thoughts as a viewer? Uh, leave unconstructive hateful comments if you want me to never ever commentate on these videos ever again. Thanks. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I or we will be back soon. Yeah! <laughs>